Hey, good day everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. As it wasn't a good day yesterday for a Philadelphia 76ers, as they just got beat pretty much throughout the game by the New York Knicks, and Joel did not really have the performance, obviously, he would desire, but obviously the big key there is he is playing through discomfort and injury. This is Sports Fanatic News. Please subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. This is going to be our Sixers versus Knicks uh, game recap. When it comes to Tobias Harris, Toby still had 23, 9, and 9. The problem in this game was nobody was really able to fully take the torch when it came to trying to get this team back after that absolutely abysmal. I mean, let's just be honest with this game. It's obvious why the Sixers lost this game. They flat out sucked in the second quarter. I mean, they, they they scored 16 points to 39 by the Knicks. I mean, that that's obvious. They came out flat. They had a good first quarter, actually beat them by three points. Then all of a sudden, couldn't get anything going from people that they just really needed to step up and do something. Obviously, uh, Ferk had nine points in this game, but he was two of eight from three. So that's not good. I don't care that you had nine points. You still sucked. You went two of eight from three. So you need to have more of a rebound there. He hasn't been good since that game a couple games ago when he actually balled out. So we need to see Ferk actually provide a little bit more here on October 20th against New Orleans when he had the 22 in the first game. He hasn't been good since then. So you want to see more from him. George Niang had 13, he went 5 of 7 from the floor and actually shot 3 of 5, so he did what he was supposed to do and what you would expect from him. Uh, this is just, at this point, you have obviously one of your better other bench players or starters, depending on what you decide to do with Maxi and him when he comes back, in Shake Milton out right now. You have a guy playing a good amount of minutes in Isaiah Joe who looks like he could develop into a nice shooter, but shooters take longer to fully sometimes get comfortable, and hit their stride. I was texting my one good buddy about this the other day, where sometimes with shooters, because it's all more about mental and confidence at that point, to just pull it like you see the guys like Seth and Steph do, or J.J. Redick. So I think it's about just kind of putting him, continuing in the right spots. I never am going to blame a young guy like Isaiah Joe for not stepping up on the bench, just because he shouldn't really have to do what he's doing right now if Ben Simmons was actually able to do what he was supposed to do, and of course if Shake Milton wasn't injured. So that, that there's not really anything on him. Um, Andre Drummond, he did all right off of the bench, 14-6. He did have the nine boards, so he did pretty much what you would want him to do. The problem with this game is you need that extra. It seems like this Sixers team, in some aspects off the bench, needs that guy that is similar to how Seth Curry is, obviously, as a starter, who is a big reason why the Sixers did not win yesterday. I will obviously admit that the dude had four points. But for the other part of this year so far, this far, he's been having very good first halves and has been a big reason why the Sixers team has been successful. Yesterday, that was the opposite. Seth Curry had four points in 29 minutes. He would be one of the biggest culprits to point to other than that second quarter. He would be one of the biggest culprits to point to for, one, why that second quarter wasn't too successful, but also why the Sixers were not able to come out with this game. And then Joel B played 30 minutes and only got 14, but I'm I'm hard pressed putting a lot on him because you can tell his knees really bothering him. He's playing through a lot, so I think you just needed to see you didn't get the step up around Joel as you got in other games from either Seth Curry, Tobias Harris, who still put out a pretty solid um outing himself. He actually still did well other than from the three point line. So he put out a good solid out himself, but you had Maxi had his first really bad game this season in 30 minutes, and you had Seth Curry have an abysmal game in 29 minutes. So having two starters do that's not going to help you. And then we don't really have the bench without having, because Maxi obviously should really be on your bench if Ben Simmons was playing, and then look at the hell of a bench play he would have been, and then you would have had Shake as well. So, and then Isaiah Joe would have been a guy that really could have just eased himself in going back to him. So... When it comes to this, it's really the Sixers just need to figure out a footing in these games and a thing they can go to, a strategy they can go to when it fails up top. Because you, when you're a good team like them, if Seth Curry doesn't step up and Tyrese Maxey doesn't step up in one game, it shouldn't be the end of the world. But in this game, it had that end of the world feel of, well, these guys are not performing in our starting lineup tonight. Let's just pack up the bags, boys, and move on to the next game. Obviously, the Sixers battled back 
a little bit in the end and made it 112 to 99, but that's kind of similar to the Tampa Bay Eagles score. The score is very deceiving for how competitive the game actually was. The Sixers, we obviously want our Sixers to come out a lot stronger and with a lot more firepower and just a lot more answer to to adversity um, when it comes to in the course of a game when it comes to this next game, which is going to be against the Detroit Pistons tomorrow at 7 p.m. So this has been a recap to the Sixers and New York Knicks. The Sixers just really came out flat after that first quarter. They outscored them by three, got trounced in the second, and could never recover from it. So again, come back next game, boys, and just... Well, one, I don't think Tyrese Maxey and Seth Curry are going to look that off. But if one of them has a bad game, find a different guy that you can go to, that you can use more. Gorge Niang was shooting good yesterday. Maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, you should have picked spots to use him more. Like, there's different things you can do in order to do that. Tobias wasn't shooting good from the three, but was shooting fine from the floor. Maybe you could have tried to create more mid-range for it. So there's different things you can do when certain things aren't working. The Sixers, for me, did not do that yesterday. So that's something I want to see as time goes on. More adjustments from this team through adversity. But this has been a reaction to the Sixers and Knicks game. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Stay safe out there. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below. Let the easy-to-use widget up above. Let's go Sixers. Let's rebound tomorrow. Peace out.